This is News Talk 980 CKNW. Well, geez, that uh, new tax on foreign buyers just went into effect yesterday. Already, according to some people, having a massive effect. One study saying a 75% drop in sales already. I don't know. We know for sure it's having an impact. How big? Who knows? Uh, Let's bring in Michael Campbell. He's the host of Canada's top-rated financial show. You know it. It's called Money Talks. It's time for our midweek money report. And, uh, Mike, for those who haven't really heard the sales numbers yet uh, released earlier today, paint us a picture of what's going on. Well, I think it will surprise people uh, that we've got four straight months of declining sales in Greater Vancouver. In fact, they fell nearly 19% if you compare it to July of last year. And compared to June, wow, it's a whopping 26.7%. So we're already in a slower market. And everybody's been screaming about unaffordability, wanting to see the prices drop. What has happened to prices? Well, not much so far. I mean, we're still looking at that benchmark in Greater Vancouver, about 930000 That was up 1.4% from June. And here's the big killer. I mean, it's up 32.6% from the same month last year. But here's the thing. That's not a norm, uh, unusual, rather. It usually takes a while before someone says, you know what, I'll put my home on sale. You need lots of months of really slowing sales before somebody does that and i think that's what we're experiencing so i, I would expect uh, no big drop in sale uh, sorry in prices until if and when that happens and you've seen sort of the the whole market start drying up so maybe later in the fall but mm. that's as soon as i'd expect it uh, there's still a lot of people out there concerned about affordability not really much for them to be cheering about i guess no I be, you know this is the big thing you know i'm on about this all the time but we've got to separate that market we we scream about high prices but we're talking about a market that the entry level isn't even looking at i mean i've got I've got a son who's looking right now, and he certainly isn't looking to anything even in the mid or high mid to the, you know, those stratosphere prices right now. He's looking at the entry level. Mm -hmm. And so, no, because, I mean, the bottom line is that's getting driven by in-migration and record low interest rates, and certainly not a sign of either of them changing. You know, it's always interesting, though, as you've both been on the other end of this, you're hearing people cry out for the government to do something. Right. Well, my response is they already have. It's called record low interest rates. I mean, prices at the end entry level, uh, you know, are really impacted by those record la- rates. I was looking at 1995, whatever you'd pay on a $250,000 five-year mortgage, that's the same that you'd pay on a monthly basis on a $450,000 mortgage today. I mean, nothing else happens, but those rates drop so far that you basically get nearly double the cost, uh, you know, for the same mortgage payment. So no wonder the prices are higher. Yeah, absolutely. Now that doesn't reflect this new 15% tax on foreign buyers. So uh, what is the impact of that? What are you seeing? Well, it's interesting because maybe not what people expected, but it's already had a big impact. As looking at the Vancouver Sun, they're reporting that 15,000 property transfer applications were filed with the B.C. Land Title and Survey Authority just on Thursday and Friday. It's Mm -hmm. a record number, and it actually crashed their electronic filing system. As I say, that's not unexpected, but I mean, that wasn't expected by a lot of people, but you see it all the time. If you get, say, someone says the price of something or other is going up big on Monday, well, a lot of us will start shopping on the weekend before that price goes up. You've seen it with mortgage rates, by the way, in the past. Anytime you got sort of a hint that mortgage rates were going up as of some day, in the immediate uh, preceding uh, period, you always get a rise in action. And that's certainly what's happened here. We don't. And by the way, that may also explain what you said at the top, Linda, that we've already seen sort of a slowdown in just the first couple of days after the tax was implemented. Well, that's because maybe all those transactions uh, took place in the previous couple of days before they were. I mean, that's incredible. 15,000 property transfers in, in two days. Yeah, exactly. Uh, now, Mike, the, the, the big question here is, and we seem to touch on it every single week, we've had guests on the show that predict this is the way things are going to go. You've alluded to it as well. With this slowdown, uh, could this be the beginning of a market correction? Yeah, let me just, but again, I'm going to dissect that market. I, I'm going to looking at that low and that sort of low mid area. And again, I'm not seeing it because you're not seeing a big change in, in uh, interest rates or the in-migration. But it's at the upper end that I think there's signs. I remember, Linda, and I, you and I talked about this. I said, hey, the big key is this. If we start seeing a slowdown in, out of China, if you get their right. capital controls, which they've been putting in a number of controls, because you're going to crush your own economy if you let too much money or you know go out. I'm not suggesting 
suggesting that we do it by government edict like they do, but they've been aggressive in trying to do that, and it looks like it's starting to get successful. Uh, you know, key figure here, for the first time since 2011, there's been a decline in Chinese buying in the U.S. Now, that's the kind of thing that can put an upper end on prices, not necessarily a price drop, because here's the other thing we've talked about, is I suspect that most of those uh, purchases at the upper end are done uh, with cash. And the reason is a couple of reasons, but one is very straightforward. Uh, foreign buyers don't have a banking record here. They don't have a credit history. They can't show them their T4 slips for their income, so banks are certainly going to be reluctant to lend. So I suspect there's a lot of cash in that upper end. So there's not going to be any forced liquidation, but it may just be, again, a market that just really slows down in terms of the number of transactions. Yeah, and you know what? I've been reading stories about the China credit bubble possibly about yeah. to burst. Drex was just alluding to the fact, are we going to see a correction here? Uh, we're talking correction, but not the bubble, the proverbial bubble bursting. What do you think about that? Yeah, because again, it's a cash market. Bubbles only burst because of credit. There's no rising prices is not the issue. I mean, it, you know, if you look at a stock, mar stock market crash or, you know, a run on precious metals or anything like that, it's caused by falling prices because of debt. These prices, as I say, I think the key component here at the upper end, yes, it's Chinese buying, but it's been done with a ton of cash, so there won't be a forced liquidation. Plus, if the motivation was to get some money out of China, I'm not sure where they'd want to take it from here. I mean, it's just going to make uh, Vancouver a more exclusive place for foreign investors because it's just more expensive at this point. So I'm not really worrying about the big price crash at this point. And I know I, I'm with you, Linda. You're hearing a lot about it. I, I'm not seeing it at this point, but I can see that the number I saw to the states, the one that really grabbed my attention. There's finally a slowdown in Chinese, Chinese buying. That's the thing I've been keeping my eye on. And we'll see how fast it gets to Vancouver. The new 15% property tax may be just the thing to do it. Michael Campbell, the host of Canada's top-rated financial show, Money Talks. Catch it weekends here on CKNW. Mike, we'll chat to you next week. Super, thanks. Vancouver's News, Vancouver's Talk. This is News Talk 980 CKNW.